this is, uh, well, we're learning together, basically. Um, that's kind of what we do at this time of evening on, or, or morning or whatever on a Sunday. This Sunday happens to be January 15th. 2012 and we're here with uh, let's see over here over here that's Scott Lockman over there and there's Jeff LeBeau who is just going on a, a Sunday streaming spree super Sunday streaming spree I got another S in there another S word and way over there way over there that's Ben over there I just grab his hat hang on a second uh, yeah I almost got it okay yeah uh, so anyway and 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 in the far end was I at she was there a moment ago. I'm not sure if she's still there. But anyway, uh, we're at uh, learning with a two learning together and uh, Jeff is um, at jefflebo.net. And if you go to his site, you can find out what he's streaming today. And Scott is um, radio Scott Lockman Radio uh, Tokyo calling. He's well known in those parts. So in, tonight we're going to do Petcha Flicker, which is uh, something that Alan Levine coded, and uh, we've been putting the code in the chat, and I guess Scott's going to get us going on it, show us what Petcha Flicker is all about. All right, all right. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. Um, greetings, Vance. Thank you very much for uh, the introduction. Very exciting here uh, to share this Petcha Flicker. I mentioned before that before we started recording that I did this a few weeks ago with Alan, who is the person who coded it. The only regret is that he's not here because he uh, he built the code, and it's uh, a fantastic bit of work. Uh, Alan, for those of you who don't know him, he goes by the name Cogdog, cogdogblog.com, and uh, he's the guy who's famous for coming up with 50 plus Web 2.0 ways to tell a digital story, which is a very much a loved website with tools and tricks for telling digital stories. So all credit and props go to uh, Cogdog, and. I think it would be best just for me to demonstrate Petcha Flicker one time. It's really mind-crushingly simple, and then all of those of you who are here in the Hangout can do it, your, do it as well. But perhaps before that, the rest of us can introduce one another. So why don't we do that? Whoever hasn't spoken, please grab a mic and say hello, say who you are, where you are, and anything else you wish to include. Then we'll begin. Don't be shy. I'll, I'll grab it. I'm Jeff Lebo. I'm in Pusan, Korea. Uh, I have never, I've seen Pecha Kuchas done at a conference. I have never done a Pecha Kucha or a Pecha Flicker. Uh, so I'm excited and a little bit nervous uh, and looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. And I'll turn it over to Ben since people aren't sure when to jump in. Uh, ben Stewart here. Um, going from Aguascalientes, Mexico. I'm an EFL teacher educator. And uh, I have a website at benjaminstewart.info. And I'm also new here to uh, Etch a Flicker, so I'm anxious to see how this works. Ben, you totally fooled me. I thought that M was for Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mariana, why don't you say uh, hello? Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, the, uh, the only lady among the br beautiful gentlemen here. I'm just very interested with uh, Pecha Flicker. I will just watch and listen. And because I've seen only once Pecha Kucha done by Barbara Sakamoto, it was very great and excellent. Love her slides and an excellent talk. So I'm looking forward to your presentation, Scott. Uh, Marijana, we're not going to let you off that easy, and I forgot oh, to announce. Oh no, I don't have a Flickr account, by the way. <laughs> you don't need it. Well, just <laughs> no. just watch what happens, and you'll see what happens. But let me ask you a question because I forgot to say what Pecha Kucha is, and you mm -hmm. said you saw Barbara do one. So could you tell us yes. your memory of Pecha Kucha? What's it all about? Um, I think uh, that, I don't know how did I get the link, but uh, she talked about. Um, uh, she used the uh, excellent photos with the um, ocean uh, and uh, fishes, but actually she talked about education and uh, uh, teachers and l language students and learners. It was very interesting, and I think it lasted only for seven minutes. Uh, so each slide, she, is for each photo, she would talk about, as you say, maybe 20 seconds. And that's why I loved it so much. She said so many great things in less than seven minutes, and that's why I loved that. It's very interesting. You don't need to talk like an hour to say um, <laughs> many things. The photo says it all. <laughs> and, and speaking of photos saying it all, Mariana cannot do video and audio at the same time in the Hangout, but can you turn your video on quickly to say a quick hello? 
Hi. Uh, you can participate just in audio because actually when the thing is running, it's all run from my shared screen. Uh, the picture will be up front and center, which reminds me, Mariana, thank you. You, you captured the essence of it. It's short, 20 seconds per slide. And I think the guys who invented it, they're based in Tokyo, they're an architectural firm. They were just tired of these never-ending presentations that happen when designers get together. So they said, 20 seconds per slide, 20, side, 20 slides max. Okay, well, let's do this thing. I'm ready. I'm, I've had eight cups of coffee. So, <laughs> um, One thing for those of you who are in the Hangout, what you want to do is click on my screen, and then that'll be isolated, center. It'll be bordered in blue when you do that. And then whoever's talking, they will not fill the screen. They'll stay across the bottom or across the side. And that way, when it's your turn to talk, all of the slides will be there for you, even though other people, you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll understand it once we see no. it. No. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. When, you're, when you are talking, you'll have to click my window so that the screen okay. I'm sharing stays front and center. When I'm talking, it doesn't matter because I'll be front and center. Anyway, sometimes I feel like I was born that way, front and center. So, <laughs> does somebody? I'll, 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 um, I'll wing it. Does somebody want to give me a tag word to plug plug into the Petcha Flicker? Well, th I was curious about that rule. Do we choose our own tag words? Are they chosen for us? What's that system? I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose them for you um, secretly, but it would kind of be cheating if I typed my own in. So I'll take anybody's uh, first word that comes out from anybody. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Not going to do um. Radio. Radio. <laughs> That's a rare. <laughs> okay, so I've, you're not seeing it. I've pressed the play button and then a new window appears, and then I'm going to have to come back to the thing. I've got 20 seconds. Do you want seconds. to start sharing your screen? That's, yeah, I'm going to do that in just a second. I, how do I get back to the Hangouts? Okay, then I share the screen. Then I'm going to share this one. And this is what you'll see, and you've got about 20 seconds. Is it coming up yet? Yep. I've got to click it. And there it's slided. Mm -hmm. So we're going. So my friends were at this convention, and one dude brought his computer and his microphone, and he was going to say, I'm going to broadcast this convention to the world. It's the greatest thing in education I've ever seen. And I've got a few people who listen to me, and I'm going to do it. So after the presentation ended, he and uh, his dude, who actually is a poster, his friend, the poster, went over and they saw this beautiful woman, and they said, Hey, lady, we're in radio. Yeah, we're in radio. The lady said, get out of here, guys. So the guys, they went over to another place, and these bunch of dudes were just sort of sitting around, and there's my friend on the radio again. He's talking, and these guys are going, hey, dude, you're on radio. That's awesome. I'll bet you get a lot of ladies that way. <laughs> this one guy, he just grabbed the mic, and he said, ladies, let me tell you about the ladies. I saw these ladies, and I showed them my microphone, and they said, get out of here, dude. We don't like radio guys. So anyway, why am I getting these pictures? So anyhow, we're going to take... Uh, um, <laughs> I cut myself shaving this morning, or last week, so I decided to quit shaving. And then I got back into radio, and I saw this guy who was an Elvis impersonator <laughs> sitting at the other table. And I said, okay... I'm going to get serious with this career now. I'm going to forget about getting ladies. I'm just going to interview people and let them tell their story to the world. And with that, I think I can be famous. And guess what happened? With that attitude, I started to get ladies coming up wanting to talk to me. And they wanted to tell their story on the radio. It's so awesome. But now I care more about the story than the ladies. So eh, it's kind of like a catch-22. That's the last slide. <laughs> Oh, that, was, I, that was not 20 slides. That was seven out of seven. That, correct. Correct. That was seven. Um, let me end this share. Well, if we did 20 out of 20, I'd be going for seven minutes. Okay. So that was just so, modeling. That wasn't your official entry. That was just showing how it's done. And boy, that's no, actually, actually, Jeff, that's the advanced version that Alan has put together so that you can uh, change the slide <laughs> and the duration. I did 15 seconds each and uh, got stuck in the middle there. But that's that's how it goes, one person. And it was strange; those photos were not as random as they usually are. That's the other problem. It it the code needs a little bit of work, because um, if the tag happens to pull something where somebody used the same tag for a whole set of photos, as we as we saw, a lot of them were bunched together. So that's all being tweaked. But yeah, there needs to be a workaround. 
That's it. It's exhilarating. It is. It's a and language challenge for native speakers and non-native speakers alike. One of the tips Barbara gave, and I failed it, is that you don't get meta and you don't talk about what you're doing and you certainly don't criticize yourself midway through. You just keep going, go with it, go with it. And that's been my stumbling block, block forever, but uh, it's fun. Who's next? Uh, just a quick question. Is it typically done in the first person or guess, or any any person or with your experience? With, uh... it's, it's improv, so it's whatever you okay. want. Um, in a few minutes, after everybody gets a chance, there are some people who are experimenting with this, and there's actually a Petcha Flicker League, and they've realized that actually having a guiding prompt is the way to go. So you're given a situation and trying to tell everything in the situation. As what I did there, I described everything I was seeing, and that actually not is not really true improv. Um, so, a question? A question? Yeah. Can you think this can work in classroom because it sounds fun? and just to randomly show photos and try to practice speaking with students. That's an excellent, because I've done this before, but I would just show them the photos and ask them what do they see on the picture, but this is not giving like an idea what the people on the photo are uh, could be saying, for instance, and having fun, like bubbles, like in comics, when you put bubbles uh, uh, and uh, talks. Uh. Marjan, are you an ESL teacher? Uh, yes. Yeah. Alan came out with this in the summertime, and when he first posted it on his blog, I mean, he, one of my gigs is teaching ESL. I was thinking exactly what you're thinking, that this is just so perfect. The students are having to create authentic language on the go, and as the teacher, as, as Ben re suggested, can you give a prompt? And yeah, what are they thinking? What are they saying? Or whatever context you want to give. So yes, we, it it should be a lot of practice. Some of them are still shy. They, it's difficult for them to see, to to explain the, or describe what do they see. But maybe uh, when when they have to um, invent a sentence, or like you did before, and it was so fun, I I, I laughed. Um, it would be even more uh, uh, encouraging for them to do that because they love to invent or make uh, roles, role plays, and role models and whatever. I I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Speaking of radio, I forgot to uh, stream this on the radio, so I'll do that right now. So this is going to be going out on DS106, <laughs> a visual on the radio, but that's that. Anyway, the question is, who's next? Ben, Vance, or Jeff? Well, you mentioned going in order. That would put uh, Vance next. Well, I think we have a different order, but Vance is to my left. He's next. Vance, yeah. you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna. It's gonna take me about ten seconds to get things ready <laughs> for you. I've got to put in the code word or the tag. Um, what's a good tag for Vance? Uh, I know what I'd like to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. It's gonna be seven slides, fifteen seconds per slide, and I've got to get back here to bring the thing up for you. And you <coughs> share the screen. I'm not very fluent with this yet. Okay. Here we go, Vance. And then if you click my screen, that'll be front and center for you, and you got a little bit of time to go. So it's all yours, Vance. Do you see the cow? Yeah. Uh, well, I saw the horns of the cow, and now I see horns sticking out of this tunnel here. Um, <laughs> and it looks like we're all going for a ride on an up-and-down escalator. And I think this is one of those escalators that's had uh, uh, music. Uh, put into the floors. And what this escalator leads you to is up to the showroom up at the top where you can check out some of the cars that are up there, you know, and uh, you probably take one and just drive it off. It's, what you do is you just ask the uh, people if you can do a test ride, and um, normally they just give you the key. Um, but watch out for those strobe lights in the front. And is you sure this is going for seven seconds? Oh, here's one we want to drive. Uh, this is actually uh, the one that Alec Kouros got. Um, he's actually, he's, he sort of uh, he took it out and then he brought it back and it had his name all over it. Um, and this one, uh, that one reminds me of somebody, but I'm not sure. Uh, Donald Duck, I think. Uh, so, uh, anyhow, this is... Uh, you could actually drive that down the escalator if you want. 
and this is obviously well you know where that's from that's the Batmobile um, so this is kind of a nice show because you know it's got and it, 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 little few people know that Batman actually got his car by coming to the show and just asking to go for a text drive and then he just kind of took it off and um, well this one I that one looks like uh, could be Superman's car I'm not really sure but uh, you can imagine uh, if you were a radio producer and you wanted to meet chicks, that's the car you'd want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did it. Awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> well Super. <laughs> yeah. I love the okay, improvisation. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy, you're next. You got to get in here. Um, so <laughs> that, that key word was horns? No, mechanic. <laughs> oh, mechanic. <laughs> Speaking of mechanic, we're going to call soon, I guess. <laughs> Vance, how was that? How, how did it feel? Um, yeah, I guess, you know, you can uh, just rattle on, you know, if you've... Why not? You just talk, just talk, talking. What's talk? You know, talk. You can yeah. easily do talk, right, Scott? You're, Anybody yeah. can talk. You're natural. Jeff is really good. good at it. We're going to see what what Ben can do pretty soon. Who's next? Jeff. Did uh, well. Next in line well, is Mariana. I don't want to oh. jump in line. Is it Mariana? I was mispronouncing your name. I, I don't know. Actually, I wanted to ask you. Yes, very good. Mariana, very good. <laughs> Great Mariana. pronunciation. Usually, I pronounce Marijana, which is uh, American <laughs> pronunciation, but okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, my God. I need to talk. Oh, God. I'm, I have a, a, a goose of uh, butterflies in my stomach at the moment. Well, so. <laughs> you better lose them because it's coming up soon. Okay. Remember to click my window so yours is isolated. Uh, so I have clicked your window. Okay. Do you see the the audience? Uh, yes. Yes. Oh hi! I am at Google. Google uh, uh, Hangouts, probably somewhere in uh, America, and I'm looking forward to the presentations. I I see only two flowers here. I hope my friends will come soon. Oops, oh, <laughs> is this in a bathroom? Nice underwear. Well, I don't know if this is French, but I guess the ladies left something behind. Black and white, maybe some red underwear would be even better. Uh, okay, so I'm lost again, strolling, strolling, walking, trying to find my way. <laughs> left the uh, Google... Uh, 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 Google Hangout, but I'm trying to find my way and trying to Oh, yes. Well, hmm, shopping. The idea of shopping and Christmas craziness. Well, I don't even, I'm not very into shopping. Probably I will, probably I will have to buy something on eBay. Uh, sorry. Uh, mm, yes, Second Life. I Oh, this woman has shoes in, <laughs> and Heike is, has very great nail polish. I will ha tell, tell, have to tell Heike to buy these excellent high heels. It's very great. I love them. Is this taken from a Second Life? Hmm. A great architecture, very modern, interesting. Probably this lady was having a presentation in Second Life. I suppose this could be a, a, a great uh, building for a Second Life in real life. Okay, so bl uh, red lights. Where do I go now? Stop here, stop there. You can. I cannot <laughs> turn left. I cannot turn right. So I have to wait and see if somebody will come and pick me up because I'm leaving the Google Hangout now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well done. Bravo. That was awesome. Wow. You're a natural. Excellent. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. But it's, I love the improvisation. It reminded me of drama classes that I had with my students. And usually that uh, they get the idea or they enter a room and then uh, the one of them knows what kind of a uh, uh, room is, for instance, at the dentist. And then the other one just have to pick up and start the conversation like they already know each other. And, and that's why I found it interesting, uh, this uh, Petra Flicker. Yep. yep. You just so got to roll with it. You did you it. tell her the tag beforehand? <laughs> No. 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 What do you think it was? Well, yeah, what was the tag? Uh, Google. Google? No, shopping. Shopping. Oh, shopping. Interesting. Yeah, shopping. <coughs> Interesting. Shopping, hmm. and then I've got seven all ki different kinds of photos that only two maybe had something to do with shopping. 
it's not a perfect system, yeah, but you did a yes. great job with it. Thank but, you. Uh, thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance to try this Pecha Flicker. Oh, the, the link I just put in the text chat in the Google Hangout, I didn't put it in the Web Heads in Action chat because I don't have enough hands, but that's from the Pecha Flicker League, and mm -hmm. they've come up with this more of an improvisational theory-based idea that if you begin with a prompt, it makes for a more fluid, sto I mean, a more well-connected story, better continuity from idea to idea. So we might explore that at some point. And the other thing I would like to try after everybody has their first chance is for us to do one in sequence where we do that. So how about, would, would you mind if we did that? If we, uh, Jeff, you're next. So let me give you the situation. Um, how about reincarnation? Okay. Okay, that's not the tag word, but the, the theme is reincarnation. So imagine you've been reincarnated or you're talking about reincarnated. And I've put a tag in and I'm starting it and I will share the window in just a moment. And you're on. Okay, it'll come your way in a second. You should see the t-shirt. Okay. <clears throat> So this latest life is but my most recent. Uh, in earlier times, I was a disco champion, uh, and I lived a, a vibrant life dancing around the bright lights of uh, many cities before I was reincarnated as a deep-thinking woman with kind of wavy hair. And this lifetime, you know, I, I, I look back on it fondly. I had a bit of a stage career. Uh, I had my own talk show for a little while had some relationship issues because I married this guy who <laughs> was determined to play the wood baronet harp and he thought this was going to be like the biggest new instrument and he had a warm side to him but it just didn't work out and so I had to get divorced from him. Uh, sometimes life is... Uh, uh, oh, this place. I, uh, in one life I was an architect. And so I built this. This is the Museum of Yellow Light that was great. <laughs> this life, you know, I was just exhausted from all those past lives, so I just kind of stayed in bed. Pretty much this entire lifetime, I just got under the covers and uh, opened the windows, breath, breathe some fresh air, but really just, oh, this, you know, has been a recurring trend in my life, being a geek. You know, every lifetime I seem to be reincarnated as some dude who, you know, just has geeky interest. This particular one, I was the Atari champion of the 1970s. This was kind of an exception. I was uh, a performer in Broadway who, again, had wavy hair and apparently didn't in always enjoy wearing tops. I was into going topless that lifetime. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Natural. Great job. <laughs> um, the pr the prompt does kind of give you something to to go with. Yeah, yes. it's a little bit of glue continuity yeah. from frame to frame. And what about this life, Jeff? Which what were you doing in this life? <laughs> <laughs> I just stream. This is my streaming life. <laughs> what, what was the uh, key word for that last series? The key uh, word was the theater. Get up there. <laughs> theater. Ah, uh, theater. Theater. Cool. theater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ben, are you ready? I'm ready. Your prompt is you've uh, found a stack of postcards and you're looking through them, mm. describing what you see. That's pretty much what we've been doing. So, <laughs> here you go. Let me share the screen. There it is. Stand by. Seven slides, fifteen seconds each. I was uh, home one day going through some postcards and I uh, didn't have a lot of things to do and I, I came across this picture of um, Niagara Falls where we I actually saw a beautiful rainbow that uh, appeared out of the horizon and I came across this, this other postcard that uh, I'm kind of a geek by nature and this is an old gadget that you uh, hook up to um, Maybe a I okay. 
uh, yeah, this was this is a picture. We went to a city here in Mexico, and you can go up in the mountains uh, certain times of the year where you can uh, see wonderful, beautiful butterflies. And uh, this was a, one of the ones that really caught our eye as we were uh, going through and, and seeing all the beautiful butterflies. Now, this is uh, in the same place. Um, this, in fact, was after we went and looked at all the butterflies. We went and uh, across this old lake where uh, there were a lot of crocodiles and you could take pictures of different animals uh, in the lake. Uh, this is a picture uh, that uh, on my birthday I was able to go to uh, this old uh, kind of a historical area here in Mexico, in the southern part of Mexico, where there were a lot of uh, trees and uh, this is an early morning shot uh, where we uh, woke up and uh, this is another uh, place up in the mountains that we visited here in Mexico where we actually saw some snow, which is uh, not uh, normal here in Mexico. So, ugh, that's hard. Okay. No, that was great. Looks like our last one didn't show up, did it? No. I didn't see the seventh slide. That's another <laughs> but issue. But I see Ayat. Hi, Ayat. We got audio. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I was Hello. Kicked out, I was kicked out many, many times, and I was wondering whether it will come to my turn or I'll be kicked out. But it seems I'm here. You are here. That's great. Webhead determination. Hey. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> continue in the stream for a little bit. I'll just pop out, come back in the hangout because my webcam is cratered. So I'll be right back. Okay. Do. Ayat, are you going to go next as a solo? Are you into that? Would okay, you like to we'll try? Okay. Um, you know, your audio is a little bit choppy, Ayat, and I think it. I know Mariana had this problem also. If you turn your webcam off, your audio might get better. Um, and sure. Let's see if that improved is your that audio. Is that okay now? I think it's a little bit better. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay, well, here is your, uh, your prompt, your prompt or your theme for this uh, seven slide, 15 second per slide, Petcha Flicker, will be a convention or a conference that went very wrong. How's that sound? Nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Exciting. I've got a tag word for you, and let me just share the screen. Take me half a second. And here it comes. Oh no! <laughs> oh, did we lose her? <laughs> we lost her. Well, let's do it in sequence then, okay? I'll okay. go first. Jeff, Ben, Scott, Jeff, Ben, and Mariana. So, okay, Mar Mariana, you're okay. after me. I was at this conference. I was going to learn about how to be the best English teacher in the world, and this guy Stephen Downs came up on stage and he said, "Everybody, take out your pencils and a paper and a crayon." Next. Oh, God, and this is what I created. Well, I have been coloring and doing some trees. The first thing that came up to my mind, because that this is the only thing that I could draw. And, of course, sorry. I, draw, sorry, I have been sorry. drawing I like a five-year-old. Hi, Ayat. <laughs> oh, we got I the can't blank see the one third too. slide. Third yes. one's blank. Oh, maybe, bummer. Yeah, maybe we should, should <laughs> call a timeout on this one. Timeout. Good. Oh, we lost number four, too. Okay, I'll pull the screen share off. Mm -hmm. Nice job, Mariana. That I'm sorry. Great. I'm Thank sorry. You. I'm back. I don't know how much I'll be here, <laughs> but I'm back for the meeting. Sorry, we didn't know if you uh, had a connection problem or if you ran away. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, uh, let's try it again. It'll be the same theme. This is a convention or a conference that went terribly wrong. Okay, it's coming up in just a moment. Okay. <clears throat> Share the screen. It's all yours. This is the place where I had my first conference abroad. I was very excited that day because it's my first conference abroad. First time I'm outside Egypt and first time 
and this was the food that was actually offered that day to all presenters but I couldn't figure out what was that but I had to eat it and all those foreigners I have to manage but this was the view outside the balcony of my hotel room which I was supposed to be a very nice one and suddenly it went foggy <laughs> And that was not enough. The next morning, I had a very strange <laughs> breakfast too, which I had to manage. Oh, I missed my Egyptian food. And this, well, I, I see Vance. Uh, uh, and this was the sandwiches I had. We still there? Oh, oh, she was on a roll. Oh, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Too bad she left. Any guess on what the uh, tag word was? Um, <laughs> restaurant? <laughs> Sandwich. It's Sandwich. Sandwich. <laughs> it was great, Ayat. She's okay. in the chat now. So I, I need to take just a little, not, not a walk away break, but just I, I would rather focus on conversation for a couple of minutes if you don't mind. Uh, thoughts or impressions or suggestions? Quick, quick tech um, point. I, I go for that. So, so yeah, I am so sorry we, you, you were doing a great job. That was, that was great. That was awesome. Yeah, that was great. I, I, I'm having a new Google Plus experience here. My Google Plus is Thank you. throbbing. Is anyone else experiencing that? What? what throbbing? Throbbing. throbbing. <laughs> it's, it's this bizarre thing. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Hangout and, and What's return. throbbing? Yes. That's a good yes, theme for the next round. <laughs> what, what I hope you have the safety throbbing. filter on. <laughs> Be careful though. It's a flick of idea. Wonderful, yeah. Isn't it great? Yeah, this really does fun. give you ideas for what to do in the classroom. Yes. Yeah, that's not a bad thing at all. It's, it's kind of neat. I really like it. Is there? A, I'm not sure. able to pay attention to the webheads chatter. People getting a sense of it through watching the stream? Any, any chatter there? Do you think your students would be uh, scared to do this? How would you come overcome effective filter with this? Uh, have to use demonstration a lot. I would use a lot of demonstrations first. And I don't know if it would work on the first lesson, probably, but they need to be motivated more because they would always be discouraged of not knowing a lot of vocabulary first. And of course, I'm not a native speaker as well. And the first that come up to my mind is that they would be discouraged because of the vocabulary. But whatever they say, it would be great. Maybe at first we can give them few mi few or more minutes on, on the group work, maybe like seven of these photos and tell them, OK, you have like five minutes to think of the uh, uh, idea what the people on the photo have to say, but they all have to be connected. And just just a thought that I came uh, while we were doing this. And uh, and then maybe then try it out as an improvisation into like a minute or two as we are doing now. Yes, yes. Great ideas. Yeah, and in the chat room also, you know, talking about giving them vocab that they can use, simplifying the task where they don't necessarily have to tell a story, they just describe the photo. Um, I can also imagine doing it not solo. If people did this as partners, somehow that might yes, yes. help. Yes, yes. I love the idea. This can be, uh, yes, done as a group work. And you can even try. Um, well, I would do this as a motivation myself. As I did recently, I used a PowerPoint and explained them something to motivate them to the topic. And uh, I would either use my photos and tell them the story. And then you can ask them, what is the topic? What is the tag? What do you think what we are going to talk about? But not necessarily give them the, the photos that um, makes you think that it will be shopping or, or something else and make them do more guessing or something like that. I'm just a thought. Yeah. Good Full idea. of ideas. Is there, is there a way to repeat <laughs> is there a way to repeat the same uh, series of slides so you can repeat and they could do it over and over? Is that a possibility with this uh, the site? Because I can That's see that that would help 
for them to go the first time, it would probably be horrible. Then the second time, they would see, they would be a little bit more familiar with the slides. They could work on transitions and just have practice. But again, going through the same sequence of slides, I'm not sure if that's a possibility. With that's a great question, Ben. And I've, I'm I'm not very experienced with this. I remember Alan talked about that, and I think he was trying to or had already implemented that that the the sequence can be saved and gone back to like flashcards. I see we've got a new visitor right in the center of my screen. That's is that Lawan? Lawan? Yeah. Yes, I'm the one. Uh, is it afternoon or evening, everybody? Oh, it's evening here. Greetings. Yes, thank you. How is the good work going on? We've been enjoying the sessions, really. Have you been watching from the uh, the stream? I yeah, not really. I'm on the hang uh, on hangout. Yes. Okay. Well, how about if we do one in sequence? Yeah. I've 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 put in now twelve slides, and each person will take it in rounds. So perhaps Vance <coughs> will go first, then Mariana, no. then Lawan, Jeff, Ben, Ayat, and then I'll go last, and then back to Vance. Is that okay? Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. So the the theme that we're going under is first job. Your first job. And I've put in a tag word, which nobody knows except <coughs> for me. <coughs> Vance, you're up. Okay. Uh, remember to please my click my window shot. so the thing will stay up in the center. Yep. The one if you yep. just tuned in. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, my first job. Man, I'll tell you, my first job was, well, I was a painter, and I thought I was really good. But then I got this job painting stripes on a lighthouse. <laughs> Man, I tell you. Uh, <laughs> and then suddenly I had to move, and I decided that, that maybe it will be better to take photography because I really enjoyed that before. When I was young, I used to take all kinds of photos. I even photographed myself or video stream. And uh, I had to move to learn more about it. Levan? No, yes. Yep. What was your can job you when this you. photo was taken? This this oh, was. Oh, you mean my first job? No, your job when the photo was taken. What was your job? What was what, what's your job in the what? photo here? In the photo? No, I'm not I, following I, you. I, yeah, I, I think Lawan <laughs> might not be. Uh... That's okay, Jeff. Go I'll for jump it. in. So turn. this job, you know, I'm I'm working in the city, and then. All of a sudden, this plane lands in the middle of the river, and they said, hey, Jeff, you got to go into the river because one of our executives was on this plane, and he would like a custom ride back to the office. So as I was in the water, I realized I had to swim back to the city to get back to my job because I only had about 20 minutes for lunch. So I, I had to try to swim as fast as I could back to uh, the city so I w wouldn't be late. Ayat? And I was swimming for so long, and I got a little too far north, and it got really cold, and the water froze over, and I was stuck, and the Coast Guard came, and then it was Vance's turn. Yeah, but at least it was a nice place, you know. I mean, um, after a while, I got a job in a kind of a balloon, a hot air balloon that's floating over the city, and it was cold up there as well, but, um, you know, it was still it was okay. But I had to paint it red, white stripes. I didn't like that all that much. Anyway... Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Another job I had was uh, uh, doing Petcha flickers uh, that just keep them on the screen. I, I used to have a job which would advance the slides, but actually they wouldn't let me do that because I, I couldn't do it very well. Uh, I think we froze, so Vance. Did you get the next one? <laughs> We're, oh, we've frozen, and the, my hangout is throbbing again, so people who are watching this are probably getting <laughs> nauseous. I'm going to step okay. out and right back in. Okay, we're up okay. to slide 11. In the, uh, All right, she joined us in the chat. She wants to know what we're doing, because she's just come into the chat. Is that right, Beza? Have you, are you there? What, yeah, the there's something over are. here. I'm trying to follow and understand what you people are doing, actually. Perhaps, we, I know, oh, I'm sorry, my got audio issues. Uh, joined us, so perhaps we can reintroduce what we're doing? What are we doing? Yes, that would be, be good, actually. That would be good. 
Shall I? Yes. Luan, we're doing a, a crazy version of slideshow. All of these pictures that show up on your screen come from come from Flickr, and it's something that's designed by Alan Levine. They call it Petcha Flickr. So I'm typing in the, the the tag word, and then these photos are randomly grabbed, and they're shown each one for 15 seconds. Then the speaker's job is to describe what's happening in the picture or to tell a story based on the theme. And last time our theme was okay. first job. But the tag word was oh, harbor, right. and that's why we got all those pictures of the uh, the skyline, oh, the water. Okay. Not a so good we see word. the picture exactly where your picture is now, right? Right. To get the, the picture, center. once it starts, you'll want to click on my window so there's a blue line around it, and then that will be on your screen the whole time. Okay. It's all right. Would you like to try a solo for five slides? All by yourself, Luan? Mm, yeah, let me try. Okay. Can you just... How about a key... What, what would be a good tag word, Luan? You can choose the tag word and I'll type it in. Okay, like... Your choice. Okay, just 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 put anything. Let me see what okay, you. Okay, let me think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. How about I got one. Yeah. I got one. Okay, so it'll take just a moment for me to share the screen. Okay. The situation is you're writing a letter to your friend, and you'll need to click on Scott's video so that you can see the photos. And here they come. Okay. This is the start screen. Oh, okay. I think change the interval you're gonna go for yeah it'll be for one minute 15 total so what are you writing there Luan are you writing to a friend well <laughs> this is quite funny you know so I'm expected to I'm expected to describe the picture what I'm doing exactly when I saw the picture. Right? Yes, what what are you, and you're writing to a friend. So why are you looking at these photographs while you're writing to this friend? What what, what are you writing to your friend about? Does, does your possibly friend have trying to figure to probably try to figure out how exactly I'm going to put the letter? Is that? Yeah, is your friend a duck farmer by any chance? Or? Ooh, what does he do Ooh. those ducks anyway? Oh, all, all this pictures coming out is for me to describe. Yes, yeah, and you're writing a letter to uh, a friend. What are you telling him about? And all these pictures coming out, what is this one? Awful, you know. What was that? <laughs> okay, and the last, sometimes the last okay, one doesn't show up. Okay, maybe we go ahead, I will, I will, yeah, it doesn't really. What is that? <laughs> yeah. Beza is listening in, in the Why chat and she's trying to figure out what we're doing as well. Over there, you know. <clears throat> Perhaps another short little demonstration. Maybe someone can do a solo with five okay. photos or something. Okay, you, we let's continue and I will see how one of you do. And shall I give it a try? Sure. And I just want to say hello to our new uh, visitor. Who you got there, Ben? Say hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just tell me your name. Hey. Hello. How are you? <laughs> That's great. Okay. Let me do a quick five-slide demo. And Ben, can your partner give me a a tag word suggestion? What's the first word that he wants to give us a word? Any word. Any word. Any word? An animal? Bear. A bear. A bear. That's bear. a good one. <laughs> okay, let me share my screen. Oh, I got to do something with this. Oh, wrong window. Sorry, guys. Here it comes. Okay, it's not a bear, it's a cow, but the bear's coming soon, I hope. Okay, I want to hear a story about a bear. So, dear friends, uh, I've been asked to. Uh, tell you a story about something ha that happened recently and I'm a little frightened it's kind of a scary story the dogs one night they were just uh, not acting right Shep the big shepherd had a tummy ache and just fell on his slide and Scampy the little uh, sort of Maltese runt was worried 
and was sniffing, smelled something bad. And we heard this ferocious noise outside the window. And Scampy, ears perked up, and Scampy said, It's a bear! It's a bear, Mr. Scotlow! Get your gun! Go shoot the bear! And I said, well, where did I put the gun? The last time I had it, I was uh, shooting robots. And I remember getting that little robot and just put it down flat on the ground. But I couldn't figure out where it was. Is it in the closet? And Scampy's going, Scott Lowe, the bear, the bear, the bear's taking a shower, Scott Lowe. The bear's in the shower. Get the gun. Shoot the bear. And I'm going, Scampy, it's okay. It's okay. If it was a problem, Shep would guard us from the bear because Shep's a big dog. I think we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like chips too, but chips got tummy aches, and Chef is in no condition. Chef is in no condition to fight a bear. Scott, don't get your gun, darn it! Oh my goodness! Uh oh, that was quite interesting, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> just the story you want to tell your kids. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> hey, I'm sure you've got that. <laughs> uh, yes. scampy, people, are, people are all over the floor in the webhead's room. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to run a family show here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, tune into your radio Amazing. show more often there, Scott. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just uh, I just tried not even to think about describing the slide and make some sort of wacky story, and fortunately the pictures worked. <laughs> Peggy is but, suggesting a filter on the photos if we are doing this with kids. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I yeah, and I could see doing it with kids, I might be inclined to not do it randomly and to put the tag in beforehand and pick seven photos that I think would lend themselves to the activity. Someone had asked earlier, if you put in the same tag twice, are you going to get the same series of photos? I did a quick test, and no, I don't think you do. Does somebody want to try bear again? <laughs> I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Hello, Maisie. I would like to add a point. Please. Mm -hmm. Though I'm teaching young learners, they are not very young, they are about 10, 11 years old. But I guess if I've just demonstrated it once in front of them, I get amazing, amazing uh, ones. They are very creative and I guess they will not find it difficult or they won't be as nervous as we are or worried about it. They will just get amazing stuff. Yes. You know, they might have a lot right. less anxiety than we adults do. Kids yeah, are used to making up kind stories. Of echo, you know, and it's, it's, it's breaking. It was breaking. If I understood your point, Ayat, it was kind of that, that kids mm. might not have much problem with this and that this is something they would enjoy doing and not being that, that uh, intimidated by. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah, that's my point. I guess we will have very creative and unbelievable stories coming out that never existed. Oh, oh we keep losing her. I've got a question. Is there a way, um, I know we've, we've been watching each of the slides uh, in so many second increments. Is there a way to just prompt the, the, the next photo instead of having it timed? Um, as far as I know, I'm in the advanced screen and you can change the duration from up to, up to 20 seconds. Um, I'm not, I don't know. Yeah, because it would be nice I'll... to at least have that option, um, you know, to be able to prompt it first. To, because I know maybe low-level students could have a problem with uh, with this type of activity, but need more time. Sure. Yeah, I I, I kind of like Jeff's idea of actually preparing slides in advance and just mm -hmm. having them be tied into whatever you're you're teaching or learning. Yeah, we need to make clear that this is a script because some people joined us late. So this is a, a script that uh, Alan Levine wrote, and uh, 
and you can see the code right there, I think, right? Uh, have you got the code in front of you there, Scott? I've just put the URL in the Google Hangout chat again. It's petchaflicker.cogdogblog.com. Uh -huh. And the beautiful thing is that anybody could do it. Imagine having your friends together for a party in front of the computer. Say, let's play some Petcha Flicker. Yeah. Kind of like charades. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so well, let's have a look at that code. But anyway, that's that. We're we're just playing with the code, the script, you know. So obviously, you can, uh, you know, if you can get into the code, you can. Uh, what can you do? It doesn't doesn't. Well, sure, Alan would probably share the code, oh, the, don't the, you think? Yeah, the court the code is totally open, and he'll let anybody it's hack open, it and he'll it. let anybody hack it who wants it. You know, the yeah. other thing is, you, you know, the other to, thing is, we're getting echo to, from uh, Maisie. We're getting echo from Maisie. Yep. Maisie, do you have a headset on? Okay, the echo stopped. Thank you. Um, the other thing you can do is go to Flickr and put in a tag and control it that way. Although I'm finding when I put the tag in I, I, and I click next or older, I'm not exactly getting what I think is going to be the next photo. But there might be ways to actually do this on the, the Flickr site. Probably so, yeah. Well, we're just up on an hour. I'm happy to. Let me play. ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. Ayat. Go ahead, Ayat. What slides of of picture they already have anywhere? I missed the first part of that. Could you repeat your question, please? I was just asking if you have uh, samples of these patch of flicker ready somewhere or some recordings of such sessions and song. This is brand new. This is actually the first recording that's been made. Uh, Alan came up with it about six months ago and we had one trial run in a Google Hangout about two weeks ago. So it's uh, not been done much. But Earlier, I put a link to the Petcha Flickr League. I'll, I'll do that one more time in the Google chat. And these people are taking it pretty seriously. And uh, so actually, I correct myself. Some people have uh, have recorded themselves. Uh, Jeff's longtime partner in uh, World Bridges uh, at Tech Talk, uh, Cormier, right, Dave? He uh, recorded himself, and he threw down the gauntlet to challenge other people to do it. So I don't know where those exist, but he's part of that crew in Canada who are doing the Petra Flickr League. And I've just put the link to the Wiki Spaces page for that in the chat. And I'm just thinking of all sorts of extensions. You know, you could put together a slideshow using one of those tools that all the digital tools people are using, like uh, Animoto or uh, Photo Peach or something like that, and say, this is the Petra Flickr or the Petra Photo of the day, and have everybody kind of do their own version and toss those up. Yeah, it sparks the imagination, doesn't it? Lots of extensions. Yeah, this is a really nice session, Scott. I really appreciate your coming along and doing this. And that, that's a that's a really nice technique. It's fun. Um, Thank you for having our, me. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks so much. There's a. I, I suppose you know Tag Galaxy. That's that works on Flickr as well. Um, maybe I'll just Tag Galaxy dot de. I'll Google that. Tag Galaxy. But that's another one. You can put a tag into Tag Galaxy, and uh, it brings up a globe and puts uh, photos on the globe according to uh, the tag that you put in. And then you can rotate the globe and see all the pictures. It's, it's really kind of neat. It's a nice way to make a logo for your group, for example. Um, right. Just, uh, yeah, this has been great, Scott. Not just the Petcha Flickr idea. But I, I think this is Webheads at its finest, where someone tosses out a, an idea and we just kind of try it out and, and play with it and, and brainstorm. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, well, one of the things I like, it's just it's, it's an excellent use of Google Hangouts as well. Just a way to uh, get people interacting and forgetting that we're doing a Hangout, but we're actually having some fun and making something happen. And get great ideas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't leave without letting Mariana do one more. 
So you're oh, gonna no. get a solo. Oh no! I just wanted to read the Google Hangouts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give you six slides, so it won't be long. Okay. Uh, uh, Ayat volunteered. She wanted to do one <laughs> either, but she's all again left the Google Hangout. I hope she will come soon. But okay, I can running. do one more. Okay, I'm not gonna be bare for the tag. Uh, Vance, <coughs> would you suggest a tag, please? Uh, suggest a tag, and you mean Mariana should know the tag? Well, why not? Uh, I knew Bear. Okay. Um, how about? It wouldn't help, uh, please. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, mm, Put them Pollyanna. <laughs> Pollyanna. Where are you fishing? That's gonna bring a lot up in Flickr, I imagine. Let's see what. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what it gets. I hope I spelled it right. We shall see. Up you think I know who's who's that? <laughs> who's she? Pollyanna. Pollyanna was a it was a movie. Was that first? Yes, movie. yes. It must be a I, book. I've, I I've seen the film, very old film in the fifties, forties. I'm I, if I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, I love that film. Okay, stand by. It should be coming. This is a filtered search, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> This is me preparing for an, another great session. If you can see, I am like a Mission Impossible, having my suits on and uh, just exploring. But I think I'm lost. I don't know where Tom Cruise is. Oh yes, I don't need Tom Cruise at all. I think I'm going to be in the sec on the fifth part of the Mission Impossible, practicing. I love these high heels. I think the producers really. I don't know how they think I can run in them, but of course. And here is me finally at the theater scene. My introduction was very well presented. Everybody was uh, uh, amazed, but my but, uh, with my uh, uh, pre presentation, and I hope I didn't break a leg. And then Lady Gaga came and she stole <laughs> my presentation, and I was totally devastated. And I don't know. Well, that woman really knows her uh, dressing. Uh, I I think a lot of people are in envy envy her, but. And there is oh, no. an another slide, nothing showing, so I thank God it saved my day. <laughs> because I lost ideas. And one more. of course, yes. And the, the last one, I hope it will show because I can finally finish my presentation. Oh, here. No. And I can talk and talk and talk. <laughs> and I think I can say hello. And I had a wonderful afternoon with great colleagues here. <laughs> Must be the filter kicking in. Yeah, maybe so, Lady Gaga. <laughs> no, well good, done. excellent, well done. well done. Well, we're bringing out some talent here, that's for sure. <laughs> Having some fun. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so I really have to say goodbye to all of you. It was a great experience. Thank you, Scott, for to for uh, presenting this. Um, Many great ideas. Thank you, Jeff, for uh, inviting us and for having this streaming. Bye, Vance. Say hello to your cat. I thought it will be with you because I have three of the three cats. <laughs> and uh, but you are still on stage, man. Uh, <laughs> Levan, I stage. hope you will enjoy it, week two as well in EVO. Yeah. E okay. Yes, and, yes, yes. Uh, yes Ayat, you are on now. Please have another one for me. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks so much, Mariana. <laughs> have a good day. Goodbye. Yeah, what an outro. Wow, we need her yeah, every week. Anyway, <laughs> I have to go as well. I will rejoin you if you're still around. Uh. Lawan, thank Take you. Care. It was Good great to, to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Jeff is around all night. Uh, actually, the next, the next one, the one we're missing it actually, is eight minutes into the interactive whiteboard presentation, which is being done by the IATFL crowd. And I don't think Jeff is streaming that one, but uh, you have to go to their website. Let's see, I can put the... Uh, it's in the um, um, in the learning together link, which I don't have handy, but I'll just pop it in when I stop talking. So uh, you can go there and see what's going on if you're interested in interactive whiteboards, uh, something that Graham Stanley was organizing. Let, let me just I'm, I'm going to wrap up too, Vance. Thank you for that. Let me just put out a uh, an open invitation. If anybody has seen this or has watched the uh, the recording of it and wants to do this, I would love to be a part of it, and we can maybe organize something. <laughs> connected to one group or another or make our own group just for this and uh, have fun and hang out. Uh, Cogdogblog.com would be one place to go or come see my blog, that's scottlow.com and you can hit me up on the Twitter and we can try to make something happen with a Petcha Flicker or something else. 
Thank you. Cool.